women, and especially women of color, have seen a generation of economic gain wiped out. Since the pandemic began, nearly five and a half million women have lost work in the U.S., and 47 million more women around the world are expected to slip into extreme poverty. But if we work together to bring vaccines to every country and continent, insist that vaccines are equitably distributed and fairly priced, and ensure that governments around the world are donating their additional vaccines to countries in need, then we can begin to fully rebuild. Not only to restore us to where we were before, but to go further and rapidly advance the conditions, opportunity, and mobility for women everywhere. Tonight is a celebration of each of you here, the vaccinated frontline workers in the audience, and the millions of frontline heroes around the world. You spent the last year battling courageously and selflessly to protect us all. You've served and sacrificed, put yourselves in harm's way, and acted with bravery, knowing the cost. We owe you an incredible debt of gratitude. My husband and I are thrilled to soon be welcoming a daughter. It's a feeling of joy we share with millions of other families around the world. When we think of her, we think of all the young women and girls around the globe who must be given the ability and support to lead us forward. Their future leadership depends on the decisions we make and the actions we take now to set them up and to set all of us up for a successful, equitable, and compassionate tomorrow.